I've got the first uh, model for you here. Like I said, there are two different cases. In one case, all the surfaces are painted in the same color, and in the other case, different faces are painted with different colors. Right? Generally, opposite pairs of faces are painted in uh, you know similar color, and three such pairs would be there. So let's look at model one, where all the six faces are painted in the same color. So what does the question say here? 125 small but identical cubes are put together to form a larger cube. This large cube is now painted on all the six faces. So this is the opposite of what we have discussed, right? Generally what do we say? There is a larger cube which is painted on all the six faces and then it is cut into a number of small identical cubes. But here there are 125 small but identical cubes, right? We only have 125 small cubes. These are arranged to form a larger cube. Now the only way to arrange these cubes is 5 by 5 by 5. The dimension should be 5 cubes in length, 5 cubes in breadth and 5 in height. Only then you get a larger cube, right? The point to be noted here is these are arranged to form a large cube. If you try to take it in any other way, it will become a cuboid, right? So the simple point is a larger cube instead of cut into 125 identical cubes, you are saying 125 identical cubes put together to form a larger cube. The visualization would remain the same. Then it says this large cube is now painted on all the six faces. So all the six faces are painted. Now same color or different color is not given, so you can take it for granted as they are painted in same color, unless uh, specifically uh, mentioned here. And now four questions followed by it, right? Let's look at the questions here. How many small cubes have no face painted at all? Options are 125, 25, 81, 27, none of these. Question 2. How many small cubes have exactly one face painted? 36, 32, 54, 27, or none of these. Question number 3. How many small cubes have exactly two faces painted? 24, 36, 8, 125, none of these. And question 4. How many small cubes have exactly three faces painted? Options are 16, 32, 24, 8, none of these. Well, we have already looked at all these four types of questions. No face painted, only one face painted, only two faces painted, only three faces painted. But that was for a 4 by 4 by 4 cube, right? But here we have a cube which is cut into 125 uh, smaller cubes, which means 5 by 5 by 5. So let's look at it. Now what do you know? 125 small but identical cubes are put together to form a larger cube. Now 125 is equal to 5 cube. So we can say n in this case is equal to 5. That means each face will have 5 portions, right? 4 cuts which will make it into 5 portions, right? So this large cube is now painted on all the six faces. All the six faces have been painted. Look at question number one. How many small cubes have no face painted at all? We have discussed that a cube which has got no face painted, a small cube which has got no face painted should be completely inside the larger cube. So we have to go one level inside the larger cube. But one level inside means you have to remove two from each uh, side there, two from each axis. So n is equal to 5. What do we get? 5 minus 2 whole cube. Because again, inside we'll have a cube, right? Inside a larger cube, we'll have another cube, right? Which will be of what dimension? 5 minus 2, 3 cube. 3 into 3 into 3. How much is that? 27. So the answer for question number 1 is option 4, 27. Look at the next one. How many small cubes have exactly one face painted? We have discussed that one face painted cubes will exist on the faces of the larger cube. But again, we don't have to consider the extreme ones. Only what are between them. Now, what are between them? See, total size is 5, n is equal to 5, we have to subtract 2 from that, right? Because on both the sides we remove 1, 1. So n minus 2, n minus 2 is what? 5 minus 2 here. So 5 minus 2, 5 minus 2 whole square. Because each face, right? Face is like area, so square. Cube is like volume, so cube. You understand why we take power 3 here and why we take power 2 here, right? Each face will have n minus 2, 5 minus 2. 3 by 3 cube, right? On front of, if you look at the front face, there will be inside, there will be a 3 by 3 cube. 3 by 3 is 9. That means on each face there are 9. But how many such faces? 6. So simply substitute the formula. n minus 2 whole square into 6. Right? There is no need of further explanation. So 5 minus 2, 3, 3 square, 9. 9 into 6, 54. So the answer for question 2 has to be option 3, 54. Look at question number 3. How many small cubes have exactly two faces painted? Now you know that cubes with two faces painted will exist on the edge. How many edges do we have? 12 edges. But we cannot consider each cube on that edge because the extreme ones are the corners which have got three faces painted. The question here says exactly two faces painted. Alright, so what do we do? Here we have to take 5 minus 2. Each edge has got 5 cubes but we will remove two, the corner ones. Right? So 5 minus 2. How many such edges? 
12 edges. So 5 minus 2, 3, 3 into 12, 36. The answer for question number 3 has to be option 2, 36. And look at the last one. How many small cubes have exactly 3 faces painted? How many small cubes have exactly 3 faces painted? Exactly 3 faces painted? Cubes exist in the corners. How many corners are there? 8 corners. So for this question, the direct answer is option 4, 8. So this is how you can answer questions based on cubes. A very simple topic. All you need to do is understand this concept, right? Clearly about how you cut a larger cube into a number of smaller cubes. What will be the number of cubes? Again, how many cubes are there on the edges? How many cubes are there at the corners? How many are there on each face? Or basically the number of edges, number of corners and number of faces here. Alright? And then, you know, you need to understand the question properly. For example, if you look at question number 3, it says, how many small cubes have exactly two faces painted? Instead of saying exactly two faces painted, the question may say how many small cubes have at least two faces painted. Now what do you mean by at least two faces? At least two is minimum two. It can have two faces painted or three faces painted. So in that case what do you do? Add two faces plus three faces answer. So two faces is 36, three faces is 8, 36 plus 8, uh, 44 will be the answer. Are you able to follow? Likewise the question may say how many of the small cubes have at least one face painted? Now what do you mean by at least one? Either one or two or three, at least one, minimum one. So one face can be painted or two faces may be painted or all three may, uh, or three of them may be painted. So what do you do? Add one, two or three. So one face painted, 54, two faces painted, 36, 54 and 36 is 90 and three faces painted is 8, 98. So 98 will be the answer. Otherwise, the other way of answering this question that how many of cubes have at least one face painted is total number of cubes minus those cubes which have no face painted. Now total number of cubes are 125. How many cubes have no face painted? No face painted are 27. All inside are not painted at all. So 125 minus 27, 98. That way also you get the answer. Are you able to follow? Like we have discussed in permutation and combinations and probability, at least one is like total minus none. So at least one face painted. Total cubes minus those cubes with no face painted. So 125 minus 27, 98. Right? So, be careful about the wording in the question there. Is it asking about exactly one phase or two phase or three phase or at least one, at least two, at least three. Likewise, you may say at most two phases painted. What do you mean by at most two phases painted? Maximum two. Maximum two means it can have two phases painted or one face painted or no face painted. So, then you have to add zero plus one plus two. These answers. So, zero faces painted 27, one face painted 54 and uh, two faces painted 36. So, 54 and 36 is 90. 90 plus 27, 170 will be right? So, a variety of questions can be asked on uh, this concept of a larger cube being cut into smaller cubes and then uh, painted on all the surfaces or painted on all the faces and then cut into a number of smaller cubes, right? So, it's all about spatial visualization, right? This is what is called uh, space visualization, right? You need to understand the cube, uh, you know, from all its faces and then try to answer the given questions. So, that's about model one. Let us now look at the second model from this topic where like I said uh, different faces are painted with different colors.